is good for you. You hustle. You grind, you never sleep. But lately, the fire in your belly feels more like a dumpster fire. Newsflash, burning out doesn't have to be the enemy. Get ready for an alternative view on burnout because I'm about to show you why hitting rock bottom can be the launch pad to your greatest comeback yet. Here are four reasons how and why burnout can be good for you. Number one, burnout is a wake up call. Picture this, imagine you're running a marathon at full speed, pushing yourself relentlessly. Suddenly, all your lights go out. You stumble, you go down, confused and exhausted. This isn't the end of the race, but a giant neon sign screaming stop in your face. That's burnout. It's not defeat, but a chance to reevaluate what you're doing. Maybe you were carrying unnecessary baggage or running on a path leading nowhere. Now is the time to reprioritize by ditching the extra weight, adjust your course, and even choose a new, more fulfilling destination. Remember, this neon sign doesn't mark the end. It's the flashing signal you needed to find a better, lighter way to reach your goals. Just like it's my goal for you to tap that like button. Number two, burnout sparks creativity. But how? I'm glad you asked. When you're pushed to your limits, your brain goes into overdrive. Believe it or not, you start thinking outside the box to find innovative solutions. Imagine your brain as a muscle. Pushing it to its limit can trigger a fight or flight response. This jolt forces you to break free from familiar patterns, seeking unconventional solutions. It's like shaking a kaleidoscope to form surprising new designs with each disruption. Exhaustion can also lower inhibitions, allowing you to explore uncharted creative territory. So while burnout is painful, remember, sometimes the greatest creative leaps happen when we're pushed to the edge. Number three, burnout forces you to set boundaries. Burnout says enough is enough. It's your cue to learn to say no. Imagine a beach ball inflated past capacity. That's burnout. Your energy stretched thin can no longer contain everything. To avoid bursting emotionally, you're forced to let go. This letting go translates to setting boundaries. You start saying no to requests that drain you, learning to prioritize your well-being. Like deflating the ball, these boundaries create space for what truly matters. It's uncomfortable challenging the status quo, but necessary for survival. Think of it as building a dam. By saying no to some things, you redirect your energy, creating a reservoir of strength for what truly energizes you. This act of self-preservation, though initially forced by burnout, becomes a vital skill for long-term resilience and growth. Number four, burnout humbles you in the best way. When you hit rock bottom, you realize you're not superhuman. It's okay to ask for help, be vulnerable, and connect with others who've been there, like me. Look, burnout is inevitable at life in some point, but it's a matter of how hard and how long it lasts that truly matters. To help out someone who may be burning out or burned out, including yourself, you can leave a comment on what kind of burnout you're going through, not what caused it. That might be a little too personal, but that's your call. And we can all help each other with tips and advice on how to get through it as quickly as possible. If you've been through burnout and have some tips and advice on how to get through it as quickly as possible, leave that in the comment because that's going to help somebody else, including yourself, who may be experiencing burnout or is just coming out of it. So next time you feel the burnout flames licking at your heels, don't despair. See it as an opportunity for growth, transformation, and maybe even a badass comeback. Remember, sometimes the greatest journeys start with a little burn. And by watching this video next can get you pumped up on how to avoid and reduce the impact of burnout when it tries to knock you out and put you down. This video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. If you're experiencing burnout, please seek professional help. Remember, true recovery requires addressing the root causes and building healthy habits. I'll see you online soon.